Welcome back to some NCAA football. In the last episode, we took a hard loss to the LSU Tigers, but we bounced right back, taking down Lane Kiffin and his Ole Miss Rebels. It was a tough game in the first half, but in the second half, we bounced back going crazy. Then we had to play at FCS school, and honestly, it wasn't a good game for our offense. We only put 20 points up on the board, and one of those touchdowns came from the defense. We only ended up with one passing touchdown here, and it just wasn't a good day, but we got the win. Now we're going to be headed to Texas to take on Jimbo Fisher's Texas A&M Aggies. Currently sitting 5-1 and one on the season, number 12 in the country. We are playing away today. We got a man wide open. It's raining, but we complete the pass to Johnson. I know I complain about this in every video, and hopefully in the future we will be able to audible, but right now it's just not looking good for us. We got a man wide open across the middle of the field. Johnson gonna pick up a big gain here for 33. One thing about this game that is really confusing is they like to run options a lot even though Auburn's not an option team and Alston's gonna pick up 11 yards there for the first. Being five and one in the country right now we still have a good chance at making the college football playoffs. We got a man wide open just standing there. Johnson's gonna pick up the touchdown and we're gonna strike early against the Aggies going up six to zero the fans are getting involved we got to come out here and put another touchdown on the board that's going to get deflected here we go with another option play and i just don't like these plays but this is going to work out for us and tank is going to pick up a first down let's go ahead and motion our wide receiver over here and i'm going to take this one give it to our receiver dawson jr and he's almost going to pick up a first we got to keep finding wide open receivers and there it is across the middle of the field we dice up the zone defense we're having a pretty solid game so far we got to keep it up are we going to have anyone open here we got a man we're going to throw it to our tight end and he's going to bulldoze his way for a 26 yard pickup we are now in the red zone this is our chance to strike and get another passing touchdown they're going to send the pressure we're going to dump it off to fair 121 passing yards so so far in this game and we're gonna hand it off to our running back Bigsby does he have the blockers he's gonna get wrapped up for just a one yard gain another option play here we gotta avoid any turnovers can we get the blockers we're gonna get wrapped up I tried to take it to the end zone I believe Tank can push this one in the end zone if he gets the blockers he does and he's gonna fight for it we're gonna strike again back to back touchdown New Texas A&M wasn't gonna roll over and play dead they strike with a field goal here making it 10 to 14 and we're gonna get wrapped up a big third down play here are we gonna have anyone open we got a man wide open we're gonna lob it up to johnson jr and he's gonna pick up 28 we're gonna throw it up to our receiver that's gonna be an interception what a bad pass it just slipped oh my goodness and texas a and gonna have great field possession we're gonna have to throw this ball basically out of the end zone we need someone to get open oh another interception and this is going to the house oh my goodness we're making so many bad decisions here texas a&m is gonna take the lead start stepping it up if we want to be the starting quarterback for the auburn tigers and dawson jr with a beautiful route there only a minute before halftime and coach is calling the vertical route so he's wanting to go for a touchdown here i don't know if we're gonna have anyone open we're gonna dump it off to bigsby and he's gonna fight break two tackles and pick up a first are we going to have anyone open? I'm going to try to thread the needle to Kelly, and he's going to pick up 30. Oh, we had a couple receivers wide open. I'm going to dump it off to the running back, and he's going to pick up the first. This should be a touchdown. Halfback screen, and the blockers are just not there. I don't know why we are calling a option play here, but it's got to work out for us. We got the blockers. We may take this one to the house, and we do. Beautiful blocking from our offensive line there, and we're going to take the lead before halftime. The rain is really affecting our passing, but we got to keep passing the ball because we are getting some open receivers. We're going to hit Johnson again for another first down pickup. Nobody is open. We're going to throw it up to our receiver. Another interception. Our receiver got lost. He didn't look back for the ball. Another bad pass, and that's three picks on the day. But we got to make up for it here. We get the first down with Dawson Jr. We got to pick up a first here. If we want any chance, we got a man across the middle of the field, Dawson Jr. He's had a huge day today. Nobody's really open. I'm going to take this myself for a first down, and we're going to go out of bounds. We're roll out to the side. We're going to just have to dump this off to our tight end. He breaks the tackle. He could take this to the house. He's breaking tackles. 
He's pushed out of bounds at the two yard line. So we have a rushing touchdown today. We have a passing touchdown. Can we make it another rushing touchdown? We're going to pitch it to our backup running back and he's going to walk in the end zone and we're going to go up 27 to 17 on the Aggies. Our defense is playing so good in this game. Another stop on Texas A&M. We got a wide receiver wide open. Johnson Jr. He's breaking everything and he's going to a 44 yard reception fourth quarter action 28 to 17 we're gonna hand it off to bigsby and he is just picking up a huge seven yard gain there oh no one's really open and we nail the tight end there for a that was a huge pass for a first down let's see what we can do with it the ball's about on the 20 yard line we're gonna roll out we got a man wide open i'm gonna pass it to Johnson Jr. for another first down. And Tiger Nation back home is feeling good about this game besides the interceptions. We got to get this ball off quick to Jackson. He scored on this option play earlier. If we get the blocks again, I'm just going to take it in myself. We're going to have to pitch it. And our backup running back, Alston, is going to walk in the end zone for the second time today, making the score 34 to 17. Only two minutes left in this game. And the game is pretty much out of reach. We're just going to try to run the clock out here. And there it is. We're going to take the win here against the Aggies. And we're going to be 6-1 and one on the season. Play of the game. What a beautiful pass. He was wide open. They forgot all about him and he got the touchdown. So game recap here. We threw 21 completions for 30 attempts. 350 yards. One pass and touchdown. And three interceptions. Those three interceptions were terrible. It was raining. At the end of the day, we got the win, and that's all that matters. We're 6-1 and one on the season. We also had a rushing touchdown, but shout out to our running backs. Bigsby and Alston got in the end zone for three total touchdowns. For 12 in the country after that win against the Aggies. We're going to be moving on against Florida Atlantic University, and we're not going to take this team for granted. They're 4-3 and three on the season, but any team can beat us, and we got to keep pushing. It's a game we really got to take advantage of against FAU because they're not going to have the best defense in the country. So we really got to put up some stats here. Coach is already calling a quarterback draw. Let's see if we can make anything out of it. We got the blockers. We're going to get the first down. No, we're a little bit short. We don't need nothing too huge. And we're just going to take this one ourselves. And we're going to pick up pretty good yardage here. A 22-yard pickup. And Coach is calling another option play here. I don't understand what is going on we're gonna have the blockers i'm gonna pitch it to alston and he's gonna get taken down nobody's really open we're gonna take it ourselves and almost pick up the first oh that's gonna be an injury after getting injured after that quarterback run our team gets a touchdown we get on the board coach is gonna call another option play here tank bigsby is gonna fight for it but he has no blockers over there second and nine we got a man wide open and he should take this one to the house we haven't seen it a lot this year but a 64 yard touchdown reception to johnson jr and we strike again all right we just got to get a first down that's all we're looking for here a first down conversion and we're gonna pick it up johnson jr he breaks one we're gonna dump it off to our tight end and he's gonna get wrapped up expecting a pass play and that's exactly what we're doing we're gonna be chased and i'm just gonna take this and slide down for the first we did have a man open, but we just didn't throw it to him. But we're going to take it ourselves and pick up the first and more. We got to keep the defense guessing. So when we can run the ball for a first like that, we're definitely going to take it. Hand it off to Bigsby here. He's only going to get one. We're going to hand it back off to Bigsby. He's got to punch this one in. He gets in and we're going to go up 20 to 7 on FAU with a minute left. We might get the ball back. We got a man wide open, though, in the middle of the field. Fair is going to catch it for a 26-yard gain. We got a man wide open. That's going to be Kelly. Can he break a tackle? We're going to call the timeout. So we're either going to have to throw this ball away or score a touchdown. If we don't do that, then our team will not be able to get a field goal. We're going to take this ourselves and get in the end zone, making the score 27 to 7. Second half action here, 28 to 7. We got to keep the ball rolling. This is the game, like I said, to get some stats, and we're going to start off strong here with a 20 yard pickup. Got to get a few more touchdowns, I feel like, in this game. Here we go. We got a receiver wide open. We're going to thread the needle, Johnson, for a 23 yard pickup. Let's see if we can get a touchdown here. We're going to try to thread the needle to Jackson and Shredrick. 
Jackson is going to find his way in the end zone. And we just dotted him up there in between three defenders. The score is 35 to 7 now. This is a complete blowout. This is what we expected. Oh, uh, we're just going to have to get... I'm going to throw it across the field. Can he catch it? He does. We were just going to throw it away, but somehow pick up 29 yards there. Here we go. We got a read option. We're going to hand it off to Bigsby. He's going to dash. He's going to dart, and he gets his way for a first down. So I'm going to try to find someone else open. We're just going to dump it off here to Johnson Jr., but it gets deflected. No one's open. We're going to dump it off again to Johnson. He's got the blockers, and he's going to get in the end zone. And Johnson turns that play into a touchdown. We got the ball to him and we let him work. I don't think we're going to play this full entire game if we keep up the scoring. So that's what we're going to try to do here. Put as many stats on the board as we can. We got a man wide open. Johnson again. We got so many Johnsons and Jacksons on this team. And coach always tries to keep us guessing here with an option play. And that's exactly what they're going to call. So we're just going to pitch this one off. Let Bigsby try to break a tackle and he's going to get wrapped up. Third and four, and this would be excellent if we could pick up a first down. So that's what we're looking for. We got a man wide open. We're going to dart it to Dawson. Oh, does he catch it? He does catch it. Dawson Jr. See if we can find a receiver open. That was a bad pass, almost an interception. It looks like we're not even going to get to play in this fourth quarter as it's 41 to 14 to end this game against FAU. It's exactly how we thought it was going to go. We put up the stats. We only had one interception. And we got the win. We're going to be 7-1 and one on the season.